now Shark is right. We got Steve versus Snake. I don't like this matchup for Snake, actually. Just with Steve being able to be as fast and non-committal with his hits as he is. And being able to build walls to stop grenades from just doing much. Still a very good lob from Bobo there, though. The grenade made it clear through all uh, the blocks. But those moments when Snake's using the Cypher and he can't really move very fast laterally, it's very difficult to stop Steve from mining. And he's going to find a diamond, and when he does, it's going to hurt. Oh, with that up smash, though. Neutral get up, but he was ready for the roll. He was waiting with that up till queued up. These grenades all landing on target. Trade. Snake loves those. Nikita not quite the answer. <laughs> he crawled under the block. Legend. Minecart gonna send Snake off stage. Bobo, Bobo recovers high, wave bounces twice just to make sure that he's safe. You can't really tell him where uh, tell where he's gonna be, but this down smash, he built the wall to hold Bobo in for the down smash. Good tech on Bobo on that block. Say it again. Good awareness. Now we see pressure coming out from Pango here. He has a Pango has a diamond. He just needs to get to that crafting table. Hello. What's up? Uh, yo, uh, Ryan, can we get his headset on? Yeah. Uh, your, your mic's not coming through. Oh, right? Okay. There we go. All right, all right. There we go. <laughs> right. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Looks like we got, we got a Steven thing right here. All right, hold up. Ooh, Bobo not going to get to craft that diamond sword that he wants. He's not going to get his Gucci. But there it is. There, there it is. There, there, there's Steve's Gucci. Arsene. I mean, just spent time building up them resources. He's actually playing StarCraft right now. Oh, my lord. Oh, oh whoa. Ooh, that was a dangerous that's, situation that's, that's for that's both players. Of, that's a whole lot Goodbye. of people. Goodbye, crafting table. Hello, minecart. <laughs> Back. Yep. Now, we just see, now we see the Steve neutral of mining. He got another diamond. <laughs> The, the minecart grab. Yeah, like, I, I <laughs> it's okay. Where did that oh grenade Lord. come from? Yeah. Wow, that happened. <laughs> pretty bad. You're a snake at 110 was, and Steve has diamond. Yeah. That was kind of a, of a silly interaction right there. Down, but, uh, down tilt blocking the oh. grenade. Bobo's is still doing all right, though. Uh, oh, Bobo, the Bobo's got the percent lead. Yeah. He just needs one good up tilt. Nice up back in. I think that up. kills. Steve just keeps building these walls. Oh my lord. Literally just playing Minecraft. He's not playing Smash Bros anymore. He's, he's, he's pulling the trump. He's building too many walls. Can't yeah, right? Him. Back throw? Yeah. All right. Let's see what the offstage pressure is. Mining, mining. Oh my nah, god. That, that movement. Up tilt, that up tilt was rather off right there. Dude, that grenade was on target. Whoa, Nikita man. not really going to work though. Whew. Neither did the C4. Nikita again. Yeah, Ooh, Steve moves just yep, a little too fast, go, and you, yep. Let go shield for a sly second there, and that ended up being the Bano. It's crazy how non-committal that Anvil is for Steve. He yeah, saw how he saw how quickly he could act out of it. It was mm -hmm. Anvil immediate back air. Yeah. I like my man Pango representing the Mets. Let's go Mets. <laughs> out here in New York. It's not. We've had a tough time, but we're doing good now. Yeah, I don't. I don't, I don't keep up with, with baseball stuff like that, but. I <laughs> All right, game All right, two. Here we go. Small battlefield. I like this pick a lot, but the problem with that is, as much as it helps uh, Bobo here with the doing snake things, Steve gets a lot of. Uh, it's weird for Steve because he can always build a wall to just stop you from approaching straight up. But I think I think Steve does well on small stages as well, just because of the nature of his moveset. All right. Like right, we like saw what? how him being on top of uh, Bobo just led to Bobo dying with down air to uh, back air. Yeah, but but uh, but then again, I, I guess with like situations like that, but that yeah, kind of happen on just about any stage, really. Yeah. 
Of course, it's still but, better um, for uh, Snake, where you can keep people locked in and trading with him a lot while he, while he looks for those kill up tilts and uh, up smashes. I think that's a I think that's a good decision, uh, personally, from Bobo. If he doesn't try to recover high as much, because as much as it is good to go against Steve, because his up air is not really a kill move, being caught by something like an up smash, very very bad. Yeah. Like and, that down smash. And and on top of that, like well, with a stage like this, like exactly, let let let, let trapping it uh, for Steve is is gonna be like really really good. So you, you're gonna have you read need. him on the roll from ledge again. Nice stuff by Bobo, but yeah. Oh, yeah. On a stage such as this, especially with like uh, Steve's like, little TNT setups, like, yo, yeah, yeah. you, you, you kind of need something to, to easily get around that. Hey, Snake could do that just fine. That was a good roll. He knew the down air was coming. He remembered it. Nah, that's even what was. Put in response to the air dodge? Maybe he just wanted that out of the way. <laughs> Parry the fire. Too bad it has multiple <laughs> hits. <laughs> Steve's just, you know, doing Steve's things. Hey. Steve just be Got mining. Him. Crafting la, 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 like he, always <laughs> he low profiled the grenade. Cool. Oh, oh he wait. killed the Nick he killed the cipher with the anvil. Wow. I mean hey. poor snake. Yeah, maybe maybe this matchup might be somewhat of a pain in the rear. Oh I think I think I've always thought the Steve matchup was a pain in the ass, even even if you're good at the game. As we can see. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, for example, ooh, ooh. dropped him off stage. He got a forward air out, but then got kicked in the head. <laughs> not, not, nice stuff, by Bobo, but yeah, like you know, th thinking a bit about it, like yeah, th this matchup might be a bit of a pain in the rear because like you kind of so oh, oh, wait, now he's, he's alive. Like, no, 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 Snake's a heavy guy. Snake's a heavy guy. He eats his veggies. Oh my lord. I mean, the game's not over. Yep. Bobo can definitely bring his back. Up tilt kills very early, even on heavy targets. You just gotta make sure, like, like he did right there, avoid those minecarts. They really are chewing him up. It, it, it's a weird looking kick, but it hits pretty damn hard for some oh, reason. Yeah. I mean, you just gotta flex, literally. It's flexible. <laughs> hey, no minecarts, none of that. Oh, the shield pressure, though. Oh my god. For shield damage. But yeah, like oh, he built his wall. <laughs> Drop, <yeah. laughs> he dropped two grenades on it. Oh, oh no. Ooh, that was scary. That was also. Play it safe. Bobo's at 150. He can dive very easily, but Steve has no resources. And crafting table's on the other side of the screen. No, I mean, hey, you, could, you could easily get a back. Oh, wait. Nah, he's dead. Side, dies the minecart. I mean, you, you, you could easily get, uh, get it right to you. Uh, but, 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 yeah, but, uh, but the, the idea is that when you're at that high pressure situation, he has to take time and actually use a move to bring it to him. And in that, there's a moment where you can react and yeah. try to get in. And like Snake can go down till, uh, uh, down till up tilt, even. Down till up air. Things like that. Good games. Is it, is it that? Yeah, like, thinking a little bit more on that matchup, like, um, especially with like the little TNT setups that I was mentioning like before, like, yeah, yeah, yeah like, you kind of have to, you, you kind of have to like be almost always like re recovering high, uh, <laughs> if if you don't want to if you don't want to catch like uh, the, the little TNT ledge trap uh, yeah. from from Steve. So that alone is already kind of a pain in the rear, uh, unless Steve like oh, of course like just goes up and uh, tries to catch it. Of course like it's yeah. also just like mix some stuff up here and there. But as you also saw throughout that match with, with all the walls that uh, Steve was building too, that that, that is like kind of just kept out grenades and, and stuff and just kind of like made a bit of a safe zone. Uh, I like the choice from Bobo like though, where walk up, Z drop, two grenades on the wall, <laughs> immediately get rid of it into Nikita. It's very, you're not immediately exposing yourself to danger and you can still get one of your moves in like Nikita, which is a pretty good move. It does decent damage, it's knockback is great. So things like that. It wasn't enough in the end, but it's on the right track for like even the next game. Oh, yeah, I, 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 I see a bit of what you're saying, maybe. But maybe that that wouldn't like affect like Steve uh, too much if. if oh, he it really the didn't. Team. The but, Steve's yeah. response to that was just jump uh, jump minecart, and then he was immediately back on Bobo. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's how it, it is was, sometimes. It, it was a little unfortunate, but hey, not nice stuff. Uh, to, to Steve play. Oh yeah, right there. Oh, it's good to both. Right. Now, next, it. next up, we Mr. got Mr. Allen Cody. Cody. 
Mm. We watched Mr. L kind of chew up Coffee Bug in the 2-0. So yeah. maybe he, he looked like he was feeling himself a little bit. Okay, okay. Let, 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 let's see what he got for this one. All right. Now, um, who, who, who does Cody play if you know? Ah. Now you know? Oh, got it. It's All been right. a minute since I last saw Cody. I know I've seen Cody play before. Wait a minute. It's just. Wait no, no, it's. it's <laughs> now, now I remember. Part, part of me for, for having crappy memory, but uh, I, I believe uh, they're a Peach player. That's yes. Yeah. Right. yeah, yeah. My fault, my fault. So I don't know. Part Those of me. Peaches yeah. always slip my memory. Huh? So the Peach players always slip my memory. I don't know why. Uh, I just don't see Peach I mean, enough. I guess. I mean, maybe that's that's a bit of a you thing. But then again, yeah. like. Like Pe Peach is de definitely like hard to get a, get a good oh, grasp yeah. of, sort of like flow cancel stuff and yeah. all that. <laughs> you like, watch someone oh, get man. basically touch of death. Like you, 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 you have your fingers like like this. <laughs> he got the claw. You don't play Peach. No, no, it's like I'm, it's like I'm, a I'm, what is I'm it? It's a like a Mortal Kombat X-ray. You do one Peach combo. You look at the bones in your hands are all broken. Like, yeah, what the hell is it? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I myself, I'm not a peach player or anything. Uh, I, I'm a short player, so, so I, don't, I, I can't exactly relate. But, <laughs> but hey, now as uh, for for Cody, I, 